Hello again. In this video we will learn the basics of Simulink, which is the other framework that we will use in this course. Remember that you don't need any advanced skill to complete all the exercise and all the contents of this course. We also have some good news here because Simulink is easier than MATLAB because it is a very, very friendly framework. MATLAB is also friendly, but Simulink is more friendly. Now we will show you the most basic features of Simulink and we will describe you how to use it. Remember that Simulink, like MATLAB, is a very deep ocean, but to start working with your RTL you only need to know some four or five basic features of both Simulink and MATLAB. Another option that you have here is to skip this video and go to MathWorks website and learn by doing all the examples that are available there. We recommend you to do both things, to listen to this video and also to check what is available in the MathWorks website as well. One important thing, remember that when you enroll in this course you have a free MATLAB and Simulink license and student license at your disposal. This student license has all the toolboxes that you need to this course, for this course and also many more. For more details please go to the course website to check how to work with this student license. As we said before in previous videos, we strongly recommend you to see the examples that we provide you, run them in Simulink and MATLAB, changing some parameters and seeing what happens. Remember, once again, that we only need to know very very little about Simulink to follow this MOOC. So, don't be afraid of the apparent depth of this world and start playing with your RTL. We will learn in this video about the environment of Simulink. Also some built-in blocks that Simulink offers to us. We will change some block parameters. We will see the models and the systems we will run some simulations and we will plot some signals. Ok, let's go to Simulink. You will have all the contents that I, I, I am about to, to tell you in the, in the slideshow in the, in the course. But I will go to the Simulink environment to run them in real time. Ok, let's start Simulink. Let's launch a blank model. Note that you have the option to, of course, to open an available model. OK, so this is sim the Simulink environment. We will have all our systems here in the blank space. So let's start to add some of them. We will do here a very, very simple example of a signal, we will amplify that signal and we will plot both of them, the original signal and the amplified one. Ok, so we will need an amplifier. I have chosen the first option that we have here, the commonly used blocks, but as you can see here, you have a lot of them. It's a very, very powerful tool, Simulink. OK, let's uh, start with the gain. I have pressed right click and added this block to my model. My model is called Untitled. Later on we will give a, a proper name to, to it. OK, I also need a generator of a sinusoid wave. OK, sine wave will be OK. OK, let's see this one. I will add also to the model. I need uh, to plot both signals 
into a screen. This one will fit also, scope. And I need something to plug both signals and to have only one input to the scope, because as you can see here, a scope has only one input port. This symbol is the input port. So I need, I think it's, it will be in commonly used blocks here, this one, I think. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Okay, so I have all of them here. No, I need to distribute all of them. Okay, this is the gain. Okay, so once we have all the systems in our dashboard, we will we need to connect them. So I will connect the sine wave to the gain, to the amplifier, and then the amplifier to the demux port, and also the demux port to the oscilloscope. And I will need to connect also this signal, because I want to see in this screen, in the oscilloscope, I want to see the amplified signal, this is the signal that is here, and also the, non, the non-amplified signal, the one that we have here. Okay, so that's our model, but we need to change some parameters. For example, we don't want the gain to be 1, because it will be useless. Let's have 4 times the original signal. So you have seen that I double clicked over the, the block and we can change the parameters. We can do the same with this signal, changing its amplitude, its bias, its frequency, so everything that can be changed in a sinusoidal signal. Okay, and then we run the simulation. We click here. Okay, we don't receive any error signal. And here they are. The non-amplified signal in yellow and the amplified signal in blue. This is a very easy example to see how Simulink works. You only need to add models, link all of them and see the results into a, into, a, into a window. Also, if you don't want to see the results into a window, you can store them into a file or uh, put them in the MATLAB workspace and continue working with these results, with these outputs in the MATLAB uh, environment. Okay, here you have you see you have all the everything that we have seen before. Finally, in this course we will work with the RTL SDR uh, hardware. So MATLAB and Simulink allows us to encapsulate this RTL as a black box and configure only some parameters. In this case, in Simulink, we will have the RTL SDR receiver as a block and we will change some parameters of it. We will see it in the following videos. Thank you for your attention.